Hello, I'm Jacqueline Laflamme from JacquelineLaflamme.com. I'm here on behalf of the Broward Art Guild. Let's talk about how to get your painting appraised. You want to always choose a professional, preferably someone who's a member of Appraiser Association of America. When he gives you the amount and it comes in lower than what you may have been thinking, it is very important to ask questions. One question is, what is the condition of the painting? If you notice that it doesn't have any flaws and he's saying that it does, then you need to question this. Why is his estimate coming in lower compared to recent sales of similar paintings is another question that you would need to address with him if you're not satisfied with the appraisal. Determine the approximate age of the painting. Often older paintings have more value than newer ones, especially if the painter has passed away. Some painters will put the date of completion next to their signatures or perhaps on the back. If there is no date, the condition of the canvas can give you some clues. Older paintings often have uneven, rough-looking threads. To assess the painting's overall condition, even if a fairly well-known or popular artist painted it, it won't have nearly as much value if it's not in good condition. The most valuable paintings are free of cracks and tears and have not undergone touch-up jobs. If any of those things are present, they will bring the value of your painting down somewhat. Research the value of similar paintings. Check online art auction sites to see how much paintings by the same artist are in similar condition to your own. A painting can be valuable on paper but its true worth lies in what others are willing to pay for it on the open market. Always get a second opinion from another professional appraiser. If it comes in close to the amount the first appraiser gave, you probably have a good idea of, the, of your valuable painting's true worth. If there is a big gap between the two appraisals, consult a third professional and compare to see which of the first two is closer to reality. This is Jacqueline Laflamme. Thank you for watching.